Hello everyone, welcome. This is Feline Intuition 1111. This is going to be a collective reading. We're going to look at your person's near future actions. So what action is this person going to be taking in the near future? What's their near future actions? Friends, okay. Family. Mm. ex-lover and reconciliation so there's something about this person's friends and family i don't know if hmm, if their friends and family kind of influence the way they see this relationship or if they're going to be asking friends and family about you or your friends and family but we have reconciliation let's see what action is this person going to be taking what action are they taking? Karma. Warfare. Oh my gosh. Out with the old and with the new, I just saw. Same thing, different day. This is, why is this happening? <laughs> Don't step out of character. Try a new pushing buttons. Be the bigger person. Zero to 100 real quick. There's something going on here. Something um, warfare-y. It could be between them and their family. It could be about this connection. It could be that their family or friends lied to them about you. But we have reconciliation. So it's kind of like, it's feeling like their family or friends or both got involved in this. And now they're feeling like, okay, they can't trust those people. What's this person's near future actions? What's their near future actions? Some new future actions. Hmm. What is happening here? Hold on. So I feel like, I, I feel like this person needs to reevaluate who they can trust. They could be a Capricorn, Libra. Not really about the signs, but it's, I'm just mentioning them. There's something about jealousy and insecurity here, right here. So I don't know if this has to do with their friends or if there's some friend or family member that they have who is jealous and trying to control them trying to control the way they see you but that's very possible for a lot of you i'm really getting more of it being a friend getting in this person's ear maybe this friend has an agenda maybe they like your person i don't know but it's something about somebody's insecurities and their jealousy and it's not really making me feel like it's your person who is insecure and jealous I mean, they could be the je jealous type. Most people are, but like, it's something about, because we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I feel like this person feels wrong, feels like someone caused them this type of misfortune. I feel like this person is also trying to manifest you back. For some of you, maybe that, I mean, seven of ones. Some of you, they may be trying to manifest you. Others of you, they may actually take action in the physical realm. Depends on the type of person they are. I feel like if they're scared to approach you, they want, they're trying to get you to approach them, do a manifestation. But I feel like this person, the action they want to take is to right some kind of wrong. I don't feel like they're at warfare, they're at war with you. Even this picture, I'm paying more attention to the picture, and there's three people in the picture. So it's like there's someone else. I don't feel like it's a third party as in a lover. It could be, but I feel like it's more like someone on the outside trying to get involved. Maybe it's their mom or something, like if they have that type of mom, but maybe she's insecure and jealous. Maybe she's jealous of you. But anyways, 
There's something about this person wanting to stand their ground with family and friends. Because I was feeling like, I was feeling the need to say that you, this person needs to kind of grow up. And it's not in a way where they're immature, immature, but it's more in a way where they keep thinking that they need to confide in other people in order to make decisions when really they're an adult and they should be making their own decisions. So it, it's, it's really looking like your person's regretting allowing some type of influence to come in. Clarify this. The Knight of Cups in Reverse, please. Yeah, King of Cups in Reverse. Like somebody who is emotionally unstable or emotionally manipulative could very well be a mom with the family card and the Empress. Doesn't have to be though. When it comes to a friend, like if it's a friend, it's definitely a friend who, I don't know, has some type of agenda. But it's something to do with somebody's jealousy about this connection. I'm also getting that type of scenario where this person may be like really crazy about you, really loving you, really missing you and always talking about you and somebody that they're talking to about you is like, why are they so like into this person? You know, what is it about you basically? That type of way, like maybe they've never seen this person love someone before and they're wondering, like someone's jealous of how they feel about you is what I'm getting. Why the magician? For the magician, yeah, unfinished business. They're trying to manifest, they feel like there's unfinished business now because they may have judged you wrong. Why, same thing, different day? What is this talking about? Same thing, different day. Hmm. I feel like, honestly, I feel like this person, <laughs> you may be like a ruffian, <laughs> like you may be a bit rough, like this person may know you to be someone who doesn't play around. So it's kind of like they've, they've done this, they've made this silly mistake and they know they have to explain this silly mistake to you and they know that you're going to be like what like they i feel like this person's scared of your your reaction hold on give me one more card for same thing different day hmm i feel like this person knows that they're coming back now that you haven't changed and transformed but i feel like they know that your your attitude is still the same like you're still not gonna take any bs and so they know they kind of know what not to come to you with <laughs> is what i want to say um let me let me do a full spread see what action they're gonna take towards you okay speaking of action eight of wands what action is this person gonna take towards those who chose this reading what action are they going to take towards the viewer? What action are they going to take in the near future? Alright. They're holding on to you emotionally. of pentacles could be a leo for some of you or a gemini not a lot of signs are coming out in this reading that's why i don't really want to call out the signs but those signs may be significant i feel like this person hold on look at look at the position of um what you're needing to know right now five of wands 
This is this this card is basically the five of wands, the warfare. So this is what you needed to know. And I feel like you don't know it. Some of you do, some of you don't, because I feel like it's something that's happening amongst this person and their friends and their family. Or a friend or a family member. So there's some kind of war going on because someone told them some lie or some something that just didn't add up. And now they have to reevaluate everything that may have made a fool of themselves in front of you. Or did something foolish that caused an end in between you, like believe in somebody else on the outside. But their fear is that there's no future with you, two of ones in reverse. Their, their fear is that they don't have a chance with you anymore because of this. I feel like that ties into that Will of Fortune in reverse that came out where they just feel like it's unfortunate and they're kind of looking at someone in their life like you ruined things for me type of thing. Um, I'm hearing what was that for? The Ace of Pentacles is telling me they have some kind of offer for you like they're serious. But why is this Eight of Pentacles in reverse here? Yeah. King of Cups. This person, the Empress, I was going to say, this person feels like you're manifesting effortlessly into your life. They feel like you could be in a relationship already. I don't know if they're watching you. Most likely they are. Look at that. The Two of Cups trying to show itself at the, the back. I feel like this person, they're seeing you in some kind of effortless energy. Like things are just showing up for you. They're seeing life just going well for you. And they feel like you must be about to attract someone into your life. Someone new, if you haven't already, like they see you just just attracting like it's nothing. Why judgment? I'm seeing two, two, two on the clock too. Okay. And press again. They feel like they're facing judgment when it comes to this relationship. The Nine of Cups is here in reverse twice. This person feels like they've lost their wish. They've missed an opportunity. And I feel like they view even your glow up, even your new life, the energy that you're in right now as their judgment, as their karma. See with the karma here, it's like they feel like they hurt you over this situation. Now you're glowing and the universe is favoring you. So they're kind of seeing this as, well, you know, you kind of deserve they feel like you deserve this glow up. You deserve to attract all these things because they know that they did you wrong. But they thought at the time that they were doing the right thing at the time. Seemed like a good idea at the time. But mm, could be a Libra for some of you. Clarify the four of pentacles, please. Ace of Wands. Like this person, they're holding on to you. They may rush in very soon with this offer. The Ace of Pentacles is here twice. They're holding on to you. They're even, I'm even feeling like they're protecting their emotional energy. This person may have recently gone through a lot. We got the sun in reverse twice. It's also, let me see, why the sun in reverse? This person may have gone through a lot. Like they may have had, they may have gone through more than just this with these family members or friends. They may have been betrayed. Because I see them in this energy of like, aggressively protecting their emotional energy so they may just realize that they've been surrounded by snakes i'm hearing is it too late for me to, I'm, I'm, that's the clearest i've ever heard a song i'm hearing is it too late for me to say sorry and now my eyes are all watery oh what is happening oh, okay this is sad and deep this person's like, is it too late for me to say sorry? I feel like they messed up. Like they listened to the wrong person. Before the sun in reverse, please tell me more about the sun in reverse. Because look at them, nine of swords, three of cups. Their next move, I feel like this person is wishing to run into you at a social event. The three of cups can also represent reconciliation, which we have here. So this being their next move, it, yeah, they want to try to reconcile with you because they're in this Nine of Swords energy. They're actually sad. I actually, I actually feel sad for this person. I know they may have like, been full of ego at the time and 
being a real a real you know what but like this person's got a huge reality check they may have like i said may have found that they're surrounded by snakes they may be realizing that you were trustworthy actually this person is bummed out i can't even wow okay four of swords they've had to take a real pause they're doing a lot of thinking the ten of ones is what's blocking look at this person it's, it's like they've had to leave their family and friends behind their whole tribe behind so they could be on some kind of spiritual journey right now this is them like i feel like they have nowhere to go at least emotionally and it's like they kind of that's the funny thing like they are realizing that you were home for them and now it's like now it's like well i've burned that bridge type of thing so wow why the nine of cups in reverse hmm. they know that they missed this opportunity because of their ego king of wands in reverse if they're a fire sign they were definitely acting like this king of wands in reverse fully egotistic they may have walked away from you with confidence like i said good idea at the time they know that that they missed their opportunity they rejected you they almost feel like they deserve what they're experiencing right now definitely at war with that with their family and friends tell me about this five of wands clarify the five of wands please five of pentacles justice in reverse seven of wands again i didn't even mean to shuffle again but i guess i see why seven of wands again for like the third time i think this person look at this this is the five of pentacles and this is the ten of wands but it's the same energy it's the same like imagery i should say so it's the same message, it's the same feeling, this person. What you need to know is that they're at war with these people who spoke against you, who they trusted in so much. Now they're seeing that they've been done wrong, they've been treated unfairly, and they're feeling left out in the cold by their tribe. It's kind of sad, they should have, they didn't realize that you were home for them. Maybe they back then had that, um, toxic mindset where you know things with you were too um too loving and that was too foreign for them so they needed to go back to drama the drama people now they're starting to realize the outcome of that and now they're being like pushed onto this healing journey i guess purify the lovers in reverse please this person they strongly feel and this could be actually true that you've moved on because the outcome for them is the lovers in reverse and look at that seven of i'm sorry six of pentacles you've given someone else attention not really having time for them because th that kind of played its that connection kind of played itself out or at the time when they do try to reconcile with you it could be at a time where you've moved on because this person they're kind of assuming that you have already moved on and the outcome is looking like you giving someone else attention, them them being in this lovers in reverse energy, and the four of pentacles in reverse, this release, and also this tower moment for them is kind. This is so sad. It's kind of like oh, <sighs> okay, like it's like they did what they did, and they kind of deserve this, but like. From their perspective, they look like a sad child, honestly. Like, I'm seeing the sad child part of them. 
Oh boy. Near future actions of this person. Emotions are running high, no doubt. Conclusions are within reach. They're gonna figure it out. Well, they're gonna, maybe they'll explain this to you. Nothing is yet set in stone, so they still have hope that there is a chance with you. We gotta show the world the real you, Aquarius energy. So they may show you the real them. They may have worn a mask. I, I definitely see that they were heavily in their ego and they were dealing with you. Now they've, they're kind of forced to be humble and see things a different way. What's this person's next near future actions? Respect boundaries. They're going to respect your boundaries. They want to be a power couple. I don't know if you're already a power couple with someone else. Someone new and body language. I feel like some of you might be with someone new when this person comes towards you with all of this information. Or something like this doesn't have to fully resonate you might be with someone new at that point because I'm seeing it in their outcome that you are like catering to someone else and they're feeling like they're in the lovers in reverse energy that you've released them and that this is their karma so they're being honest with themselves This person's near future actions. What are their near future actions? It's all an act. Hmm. Lies and partial truths. Destined soul ties and second option. You're going to be with someone else when this person comes forward. Or at least you'll have some kind of second option. And you'll, have, you'll be able to choose, I don't know, something about another person being here for you. What's all an act? Clarify this card. What's all an act? What's all an act? Oh my god. Okay. Two of Pentacles. They might come and act more like more sad than they actually are. Hold on. Tell me a lot. Tell me, sorry, not a lot. <laughs> Tell me about this card. It's all an act. Okay, that showed itself twice. There's something about lies. It's all an act and lies and partial truth. What's going on with this? Five of Cups. You know what? Be careful of someone who comes towards you or has come towards you, especially a, a woman with this Queen of Wands in reverse. Someone could be trying to befriend you. They could be involved in this situation. They're going to tell lies. or they, This could be speaking about the people who have already told lies. And this person realizing that, that it was all an act. Something was all an act. It could be this person's ego. It could be the people they were trusting and believing it could be that they pretend to be like overly emotional about the situation i don't know but i feel like it's it's all of those like it's different for everyone but there's definitely lies and gossip with this page of swords in reverse queen of wands in reverse if they have family members over broad, over broad, <laughs> abroad, then it was them or friends abroad. Something about long distance. I don't know if they went to visit family abroad or friends or something. Hermit. This is either speak, this all in acts and lies and partial truths is either speaking about the situation this person just dealt with, with fake people, or that that's one and two is that someone fake may try to come towards you and maybe twist things around before you, this person gets to you. And three, it could be that your person, this person themselves are like 
acting more victim like than they actually are so i don't really depends on your the person you're dealing with like if they're more narcissistic then it could be an act but if they were just influenced by others if they're not a narcissist but they were influenced by these people could be just speaking about what happened what they just went through what is the advice manifest destined encounter you're gonna, you're gonna meet someone um by destiny look deeper into the details right path so it's like you you've been thrown on it's like this happened for a reason to you You've been thrown on some other path where you're supposed to meet some other person that you're destined to be with. You definitely need to look deeper into the details, especially if if it's a thing where this person might be trying to put on a front as if they're more in need of your time than they actually are. But it's something about a lot of you being... It's really... Honestly, I feel like it's a common thing. It's like they see you glowing up and you are and you are in a good place and you're attracting things effortlessly, even this King of Cups energy, male or female. And it's like this is how things were meant to be. Like if you were meet if you were meant if you meet someone right now and it's like amazing, this all led you to that person. And then you kind of see this person come towards you like realizing they should have trusted you all along and it's like well this is this is just this is just how it was meant to play out like it's sad and this person is really sad but everything happens for a reason okay so i don't know it's a sad story i just don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to like what angle to view it because i know that some of you are dealing with someone who was really bad to you and it's like yep this is their karma but for some of you this person's kind of really sad but there's libra energy there is well there's a lot of libra energy with the empress there's virgo there's gemini there's leo there's um yeah, those are the major arcana signs, but we have fire, water, and air mostly. So I hope this was helpful. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.